Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports no argument from me baddest man on the planet ufc heavyweight champion there he is in the flesh what an absolute monster what a title reign it has been but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen Tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Latifi is six years his senior. He will have a one inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment. UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 17 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Malmo, Sweden. Introducing the challenger, Ilya the Sledgehammer. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. in this arena right now, two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice punch there by Alil Latif. That's a good right hand. Beautiful kick. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. 
table of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh -huh. in Tom Brady. Stop him. John, stop him. Just misses with the left hook. Double leg takedown. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. There it is. Take shot. Take shot. There it is. Latifi's gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Nice straight punch. Just over 20 total strikes have landed for the sledgehammer, Alir Latifi. Fight, we cross the midpoint in round one. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Until he blocks it, you better keep throwing those body kicks. Jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Nice punch there by Latif. He is all about that left kick to the body. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Just unable to quite find that range. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by a Lear Latif. Big kick lands. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Right hand punches for clinch. Just missed on the overhand left. Good head movement there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Latifi gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Great punch. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, Alir Latifi lands again. Everything this guy throws is with fight ending intentions. He's built like the side of a backyard shed. And he actually looks a whole lot like our EA Sports creative director, Brizzo. I hope Brizzo, our man there in Vancouver, takes that as a compliment. Oh! on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Certainly buckled him earlier in the fight. He knows he's hurt there. Oftentimes it takes just one to get his opponent down to the canvas. All right, next round is underway, and what a great job defensively in the previous round. I think my face from last night's dinner is more swollen than his opponent's. I mean, he did a fantastic job of seeing when his opponent was trying to attack and getting his guard up so that he's not taking damage to the face. Great defensive fight IQ shown by this fighter. Nice punch there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this 
That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, nice. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Wow. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Latifi's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Alir Latif. Massive head kick. Three minutes remain in the round. Nice punch lands over the top. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Nice counter right hook there. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Bowman identical. Two is better than one. Might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab. You see his opponent's head popping back every time it lands. Good punch land. Head off the center line. Slips the punch. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. And they separate. Nice kick there by Latif. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Head kick. Nice leg kick lands. Checks that leg kick. All right, single collar tie now. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And he lands the knee to the body now. Effective punch there by Lee. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Over and over, he's fighting behind these beautiful leg kicks. Latifi gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Swing and a miss by Lee. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh, nice. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Looks like he flipped him with a left hand counter there. Latifi's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent.
right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys going to kick the sink at each other. But you did see time when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Latifi gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's recompose. Very nice leg kick there by Alil Latif. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big head kick land. throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Head kick lands. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. So he lands a jab there, pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Latifi gets touched by that kick right to the body there, nicely done by the opponent. The right hand just misses. The bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got us hurt very bad with his head kick. Now we have to find one more strike to get the night. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom. And if you're in top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and bring down big strikes at your point. Connection with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looks this sharp. He's never looked this good. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Nice kick. And misses with the right hand. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. What a body kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, collar tie. Beautiful leg kick for Nice. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. And both guys really throwing with authority. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Latifi gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, 
All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are heading to the championship round. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. He blocked the punch. Feet him to the punch, feet first. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Nice kick by Latifi, big leg kick. Just missed on the front kick there. Big body kick. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, nice hand speed as the counter with the right is good. Oh, single collar guy here. Oh, that's a beautiful left hand counter. Wind it up on the right there to know about. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Beautiful body kick. And that one certainly found the target. He missed with that jab attempt there. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Under three minutes now to go in the round. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Big and kick. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Single collar tie now. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down. One takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control. The fight thus far, how's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over, and it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Punch land. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing. Ooh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Liver kicks. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. 
sight to behold. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh man, head kick lands. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Lee going for the body, missed with that kick. Big kick land. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him, too. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, big right hand, yes. Another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliot has called a stop to this contest at 19 seconds of round number five. You're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's going to get everyone's best shot, but more often than not,